Hey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei. Just wanted to put this quick video review together for you, kind of give you a little free attack plan of some things you can do to outrank your co local competition and drive more traffic to your website. The three things that I'm going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll get into what all of those are. You know, looking at your site, it's a really good looking site, but there's not a lot of content on here. Google likes to see about 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 on your back service pages. And the reason for that is they want to know that when somebody types in Auto Detailing Atlanta or something similar to that, that your website talks about it. They want to see that organically in the content on the site. Now, there are other ways to get search terms found by Google for your site, but the quickest and easiest way to get that done is to have those search terms organically in the content on your site. You know, if we go over here and look, I've got the two top guys that I found when I typed in Auto Detailing Atlanta GA. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's a good looking site, but they're pretty short on the content too. That is the most common thing I see when I do these site reviews is just being short on the content. We try to make it short and sweet and look pretty, which is great for the people that go to it. But Google doesn't care what it looks like. Google cares what the content says. So if we go over here and look, you know, same thing. You know, he's got a little bit more content on there, but not a lot. And we really need to get the content bumped up on your site. These guys will be super easy to beat. You know, if you go over here and look, Arifs is a tool that we use to kind of break these sites down. You're showing up for 94 organic keywords. Mobile Detailing Atlanta, Mobile Car Wash Atlanta. Those are, are the type of keywords I like to see, and you've got a bunch of them here. So you've got the right type of keywords on there. We just need to get them pushing up. Um, Mobile Detailing Atlanta gets 250 searches a month. You're in the fifth position. You're getting 17 hits a month to your website because of it. Generally, the number one guy gets about a third of that traffic. So you'd probably be getting 70 to 80 hits a, hits a month on your site if we get you to number one for that one keyword phrase. And I call these my generic keywords because it says what you do and where you do it. You know, if somebody in Atlanta is looking for somebody to detail their car, if they don't know who they're looking for, these type of keyword phrases are what they're going to be typing in, and that's what we want you to be found for. You know, if we go over here, we can look at the next guy. You know, he's showing up for 575 keywords. These guys are showing up for 679. Like Elite Auto Spa. That's the name of the company. If somebody types that in, they're looking for these guys. So I don't really count that. We want the people that don't know who you are to find you. And it looks like these guys do a lot of other things other than just the auto detailing. You know, they've got a lot of window tech keywords in here. But like auto detailing Atlanta, they're in the third spot. Um, auto detailing Atlanta, or that, they're in the fourth spot. So they've got the right type of keywords on here too. They just have a whole bunch of other ones because they do more than just detailing. The other thing that I talk about are your citations. This right here is called the Google Map Pack, or at least that's what I call it. Um, citations are what help you get into that Map Pack. A citation is your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet exactly the way that it is listed on your Google My Business page. A lot of those directories, you know, just some examples, yellowpages.com, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them out there. WhiteSpark is one of the tools that we use to find those. And if you look, you know, we've got a, we've, these guys, I don't even know how to say that, but um, they're number one in the map pack right now. They've got 34. This guy's got 46. And not all citations are the same. Some of them do give a little bit more power than others, which could be why these guys are showing up ahead when they've got 34 and this guy's got 46. Currently, you've got 25. One of the things that I like to do when I help somebody with their marketing is go in immediately and add about 100 citations and just blow these guys out of the water. Try to get you up into that map pack as soon as possible and then work organically on ranking some of the keywords and stuff for the site to get you taken up two spots on that first page. The third thing are your backlinks. 
and you've got 102 backlinks with 19 referring domains. The referring domains are actually better than the backlinks. It is technically the same thing, but the referring domains actually pass some of the power back to you. So there's, there's do follow links, and no follow links. And the do follow links are actually the referring domains and those are the better ones to have. But what a backlink is, is if I go to a website that is not your website and there's anything on that site, whether it be a button, a picture, a phrase, something I can click on that takes me back to your site, that is a backlink. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more you have, the better. Google you know, kind of makes Google think you're more important. They give you more authority, but you do want to keep them relevant to the industry that you're in. Not all backlinks are the same. You know, you don't need a backlink to Pizza Hut because that really has nothing to do with what you do. But some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting. You know, go out and find automotive related blogs or detailing related blogs, read some articles, put a comment in there, post a link to your site. Some of those will give you backlinks. There's lots of ways to do it. You know, if we go here, you know, see these guys only have 23 and 12, but that, like I said, they're not all the same, so they may have more powerful ones. But what we can do, you know, even looking here, they've got 329. We can go in and see what their backlinks are. I call it the copycat method. We can look through their backlinks and see what type of backlinks they have, what type of power those backlinks have, and basically go to the pages that we want that they have backlinks on and put a backlink for you. So I call it the copycat method, you know, find the guy that's got the most, copy what he's doing. But that is my kind of brief overview for you. Content, about 1500 words on that homepage, about 500 to 750 on those back service pages. Citations, get in as many of those directories as you can. It is something you can do on your own, it just takes a lot of time to do it. You have to track down the directories, sign up for them, most of them are going to send you an email. You have to verify that it's you and then come back in and enter your information. With the backlinks, some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's the blog commenting that I talked about, guest posting. There's lots and lots of ways to do it. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get where you need to be to get your backlink in there. You know, if you've got any questions, you need any help, feel free to reach out. My name is Nathan with Wash Sensei. It's 833 nine four six two two one five thank you for your time